Wow, there's someone already here? Amazing. Can you guys all see me? Can you hear me? <laughs> What's up, guys? I know, it's crazy. I'm doing a live video. What? Hey, what's up, Slush? What's up, Octo? What's up, Blaster? What's up, guys? All right, so uh, I'm really excited because, hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Uh, I'm really excited because, yay, what's up, Spartan? <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh gosh, it's someone I know. Hey, what's up? Um, so I'm excited because I, uh, as you know, I am the biggest Game of Thrones fan ever. What's up, Malcolm? Uh, I have my new Dragonstone shirt on. Can you see it? Can you see it? Dragonstone. Yeah. Uh, you guys can all thank uh, Andre for this shirt because he found it for me, which is awesome. You can't drink. Ah! <laughs> Houseful Andes, what's up? Jeremy, what's up? Thanks. Yeah, I love my Dragonstone shirt. I thought it was fitting with the new season coming back so soon. Uh, I had to I had to stock up on some new Game of Thrones shirts. Andre is the best. Uh, just checking uh, for a little bit because it's so late here. Uh, slush, how late is it? Where are you right now? What's up, Zach? All right, uh, so this is crazy, but uh, you guys all know that I love Game of Thrones and I have been a huge fan of the Game of Thrones beer for a really long time. Hey, Edward, good to see you. Uh, and I, ooh, watching season five now, doing a rewatch before the new season, good. That is good. I hope you're also caught up on all of my Game of Thrones recaps and uh, and reviews that I posted. Uh, yay, Justin, you met me at C2E2. So nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, 9.30 in the UK. All right. Love your videos from Portugal. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I know, we're 10 days away from Game of Thrones. What's up, Comic Monster? Um, I'm freaking out a little bit about how soon Game of Thrones is coming back. But uh, anyway, you guys know I love the Game of Thrones beer and you could probably see on the side here, I'm kind of surrounded by Game of Thrones beer because I've been collecting them over the years and uh, <laughs> awesome shirt and almost 1030 in the Netherlands. Wow. Uh, thanks Spartan. Uh, got beer. Did I miss out? No, no one missed out. This just started. Love from Costa Rica. Amazing. I've always wanted to go to Costa Rica. Um, yeah, so anyway, I've been stocking up on Game of Thrones beer. Uh, Amagang Brewery is uh, the guys that make uh, the Game of Thrones beer. And I, I got to go there once a really long time ago and had the best time and kind of got to taste test. Uh, actually, no, I don't think I got to taste the Game of Thrones beer, but I definitely got to see it, which was really cool. Um, and I'm really excited because they just released their brand new For the Throne uh, Game of Thrones beer. This is the most recent addition to, uh, is the season releasing all at once? No, Game of Thrones will be released on Sundays on HBO. Um, so, <laughs> what's up? Uh, so this is the latest Game of Thrones beer. It is called For the Throne. And uh, that is basically the hashtag this season has been using nonstop, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I, I have a ton of the old Game of Thrones beers. This is Three-Eyed Raven. I have Seven Kingdoms. I have <laughs> Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I have Valor Mogolis. I have Bend the Knee. And what is this one? Oh, Valor to Hyrus. And... Winter is here and Hand of the Queen. And the latest to come out, I almost have them all and I could have sworn I had a uh, Fire and Blood, but I, I guess I drink it because I love these. <laughs> I love the Game of Thrones beer. I cannot watch Game of Thrones without, uh, without the Game of Thrones beer. It just feels so fitting. Um, do you have enough Game of Thrones beer to last for an entire season one per episode i guess i do but i don't i don't have them all i wish i i wish i could have stocked up on the first one that they released which was iron throne is this pre-recorded no it's not pre-recorded what's up uh 
Yeah, they are awesome names. They do a really good job naming the beer. So anyway, we're gonna try this right now and I will let you know how it is um, because you guys can find this in stores now. It is already out. Um, <laughs> what's up, Meow Meow Gamer? Uh, and so this is already out. So if you're 21 and up and like beer and are able to drink beer, then uh, you can definitely find this in, in stores right now. Um, I get really excited every single time that they, uh, <laughs> that they release a new Game of Thrones beer. My hair color looks amazing, thanks. Uh, what's up, Bill? Um, who do I want to die? <laughs> Nobody, I want everybody to live. I know that's not gonna happen. All right, so the thing about these is that you gotta be really careful because they have little like cork tops and uh, you gotta be really careful not to, um, 21, not 18 in Netherlands? Oh, you have to be 18 in Netherlands. Yeah, you guys over in Europe can be 18 and drink. Um, but if you live in the States, you gotta be 21. Uh, oh, I do want the Night King to die. I forgot about the Night King. I wasn't thinking about him. All right, let's try not to. Ah, all right, I did it. I did it. Who don't I wanna see die? Everyone. Um, I don't want any, any, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, huge spoilers, just in case anyone hasn't caught up because I know a lot of people are, um, <laughs> the satisfying cork pop. Exactly. That's what's so cool about this one. So this one is supposed to be uh, like a blonde ale. I'm going to try to pour it. And oh, I should have shown you my glass. I have a Targaryen Omegang Game of Thrones glass. Um, have I picked up any of the new got figures? Um, I'm not sure. I have a ton. Okay, I'm going to try to pour this in a way that I don't make a huge mess. I definitely like the color of this beer because I have to say I, I tend to like the, oh gosh, I'm doing a bad job. I tend to like the, um, what is it? Like the lighter beers, I guess. Not lighter as in like, like lighter. I like them to have like a heavy flavor, but I like them to, I guess be, yes, day drinking. What's up, Star Killer? Yeah, I'm day drinking to show you guys a new Game of Thrones beer for the throne which is really exciting. So I wanna first, uh, of course, uh, give a huge thank you to Ama Gang and to Think Jam and HBO for sending me the new Game of Thrones beer. I can already smell it and I'm not gonna lie, it instantly takes me back to watching Game of Thrones. <sighs> have, a, have a brighter color, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's what I meant. Yay, thanks, noticing my shirt. I am like all over the place here because I wanna talk to you guys, but I also wanna like try this beer. Um, you had Mother of Dragons yesterday, it was so good. Hey, Joy, I just, I just I read your comment first and then I was like, wait, it's Joy. Joy, do you have any more Mother of Dragons? Oh wait, do I have a Mother of Dragons? I have so many right here, I'm, no. Where's my Mother of Dragons? Wait, I thought I just had it. Am I losing my mind? It's possible. No, I had Hand of the Queen. Do I not? Joy, do you have any more? You wanna come over and bring me a, uh... Bring me uh, uh, the Mother of Dragons. I also don't have Fire and Blood or Iron Throne anymore. I used to have Take the Black. There are so many, drink it already. No, I'm gonna wait, you're gonna wait. Uh, there are so many Game of Thrones beers, which is really, 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 really cool because um, just there's different ones for each different type of beer drinkers out there. I was at a friend's yesterday, so left it there, but ah, all right. Yeah, I don't know where my Mother of Dragons, I don't even remember. Hmm. But anyway, this is the new one, which is exciting. So, okay, I'm gonna try it. I forgot what it's supposed to taste like, which is pretty bad. I wonder if the back of the bottle says. Uh, oh, actually, it's really sad. I wanna read it to you. Hey, Matthew, what's up? Winter is here, the wall has fallen, and the final battle for Westeros is underway. Complex and compelling, yet delicate and refined. For the Throne is our tribute to the final occupant of the Iron Throne. For the Throne begins with a Belgian-style golden ale base, which is co-fermented with a blend of Pinot Grigio. Uh, and is it Wagner? Wagner? Is that how you? I don't know how to pronounce that. Grape juices. Uh, wow, okay. Well, this is really sad. And then it says, uh, truly an ale fit for royalty. Hey, what's up? 
Um, this is sad just because, you know, this is, this is like the final season and uh, I just, I'm not ready for the show to end. And they just had the premiere in New York last night and I was like losing my mind. Um, Cause everyone looked so amazing. What's my favorite drink? Uh, and we'll have to get together for the premiere. Um, so an ale fit for me. Yes, an ale fit for, for me. Uh, a Khaleesi in my Khaleesi. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's get the Targaryen symbol showing right there. Uh, will I try the White Walker whiskey? Yeah, I was trying to get my hands on some and I haven't been able to find it because everywhere near me, um, can I say hello, fat cat? <laughs> well, what's up? All right, I'm trying this. Okay, this might actually be my favorite Game of Thrones beer. Yum, actually guys, it's really, really good. <laughs> so, a lot of the Game of Thrones, <laughs> why Game of Thrones, why? Um, a lot of the beers were getting like darker and heavier and heavier and uh, they even made like a crazy stout and it was super heavy and then they made some sour ales which was really really cool and I loved getting to try them all but this one to me feels so classic to I guess to the first beer that they put out which was Iron Throne and this one's called For the Throne so um, this definitely takes me back to trying the Game of Thrones beer for the first time I remember exactly where I was, uh, which is crazy. And every season of Game of Thrones, every episode, I uh, have Game of Thrones beer with the episode. And I just, uh, honestly, it's like making me nervous, even like just drinking it right now. Cause I'm like, wait a sec, is the episode starting? Like, do I have to like get it already? <laughs> I wish they had Avengers drinks. You know, they should have, someone should have gotten on that. Cause that would actually be really cool. Um, so yeah, that, this is actually really, really good. Mm. What's my favorite Game of Thrones episode? Why would you do that to me, Matthew? I mean, I like different episodes for different things. Um, I mean, oh gosh, isn't there a Game of Thrones prequel? Yes, there is a Game of Thrones prequel. And, uh, and you can, <laughs> it's okay, Matthew, I'm not mad. Uh, I already said hello to Fat Cat. Um, shoot, what was the question? They're going by so fast. What theory do I believe the most? I have my own theories. Should we talk theories? Drink and know things? Sure. Um, I don't remember what the question was that I was just about to answer. Um, someone asked what my favorite Game of Thrones episode is. Um, and I, I, like I said, I just, there's some episodes I really like for certain characters. And then there's some episodes that I like for just the grandeur of the episode. Like Battle of the Bastards is a cinematic masterpiece, but is it my favorite episode of all time? I don't know. You know, the first time, oh gosh, when, when Danny freed the, the Unsullied and slayed all the slave masters. Oh my gosh, Dracarys. And she starts, spe starts speaking High Valerian like that. Oh, that episode's so good. Um, and then what was the question after that? Yeah, that was so awesome. Hey guys, welcome. We're just trying the new Game of Thrones beer. It is called For the Throne. Um, and make sure you share this video and use the hashtag For the Throne and uh, tag Amagang. Ooh, Cam, what's up Cam? Who is my favorite character? Ooh, this literally changes all the time. Oh yeah, I was talking about the prequel. Thank you, I'll come back to favorite character. Uh, I made a video about the prequel. You can find it on my channel. Um, so yeah, they are making a Game of Thrones prequel that I am pretty excited for. So, you know, I'm just trying to get through this final season before I, you know, get super hyped for, for the prequel. But I am really, really excited. And I think it's gonna be really good. Um, the cast looks awesome. Like it looks really, really good. Okay, favorite Game of Thrones character. Mm. Why you do this to me? Tim Davis, have I ever been to London? Uh, I've been to the airport for about an hour. <laughs> uh, the episode where Sons of the Harpy were about to kill Danny and Drogon came back, yes. Oh, that episode was so good. And then Drogon just like ditched her in the desert and she's captured by the Dothraki. 
yes, that, I mean, that wasn't the episode, that was the next episode, but yes, that was a good episode. But I don't think it was better than when she uh, freed the, uh, the Unsullied and slayed the Masters. That was just so cool, especially because that's the first time everyone realized that she could speak High Valyrian, which, which was awesome. She's like, it's my first language. Ah, oh, so good. Um, okay, favorite Game of Thrones character. I don't know. I'm avoiding the question because I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's not a popular opinion, but I really do love Cersei. I think she's super uh, interesting to me. And of course I love Daenerys and Arya and Sansa. I love them all. Which London, London Heathrow was the airport I was at for about an hour. Uh, favorite character from each house? That would take me like forever. I'd have to go grab the book and look through the index and be like, here are all the houses. Um, also, how do you pick a favorite Stark? Jeez. What if Universal added Game of Thrones land into their islands of adventure? I would live there. That's what I would, that's exactly what I would do. I would be there every day. I'd have my annual pass. I, <laughs> uh, I would be there every day because that would be amazing. In fact, I should just get a job there. I'd just give up YouTube and be like, I'm gonna go work at Game of Thrones land um, and I'll be serving turkey legs and Game of Thrones beer. <laughs> uh, do you see the recap wraps? Yeah, that Warp Zone does. Yeah, they're awesome and they're back. So if you, if you, uh, best job ever. Yeah, no kidding. I actually like Cersei, she is intense. Yeah, me too. If you've read the books, uh, I feel like Cersei is such a relatable character. I know that's like a weird word to describe Cersei as, but I find that she is such a relatable character, especially when you read the books. Whoa, 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 but if you give up YouTube, <laughs> will we hang and geek out? I don't know, I guess you'll have to go to the universal uh, Game of Thrones land, this hypothetical land. This isn't like an announcement of that because I don't think so. Am I going to watch the premiere? Duh, what do you think? Of course I am. I am like dying for the premiere. I am, I, I honestly like don't want to watch it either though. Like I'm so, oh, I'm so sad. It's ending, it's so sad. Uh... <laughs> You're rooting for Tormund and Brienne to get together. I am too, to be honest, because I don't think that, um, I really don't think that uh, Jamie and Brienne will end up together. I don't think Jamie will survive. I don't know. Should we talk theories? Who wants to talk theories? Ooh, I have theories and I never made a theory video. The algorithm is a mess. It's true. But guys, if you, uh, if you saw me in warp zone videos or, uh, if you, if you've seen the recap wraps, um, uh, the warp zone are back. Jamie's gonna die killed by Cersei. No, 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 no. Jamie's gonna kill Cersei. It's prophecy. It's prophecy. Maybe you should start doing theory videos. You're right, but I like live videos where I get to talk with you guys. We can turn this into a theory video. Uh, will there be any more Game of Thrones books after the TV show ends? I would hope so. I would absolutely hope so. Yeah, there. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, George is, is currently writing the next book. Who knows if it'll ever see the light of day, but that's it. Someone asked where you can buy the beer, the Game of Thrones beer. You can actually go online and you can do a search uh, and find out uh, which local store has it. If you have a Total Wine or a Bevmo, you can usually find them there. Uh, I've also found them oddly at like World Market and trying to think of like where else I've seen the Game of Thrones beer. Um, I don't, I don't remember. I get it at uh, Bevmo or Total Wine, but a lot of people can find it at, at uh, the grocery store for them. Haven't watched Game of Thrones, just came to say hi. Well, what's up? Thanks for coming and saying hi. Yeah, but this is the latest beer and it's out now. So you'll be able to, uh, Ooh, that's a good thought. Arya's going to kill Cersei using Jamie's face. That fits the prophecy, but it doesn't. Um, thanks, Jonathan. Congrats on 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. That was, that was such a fun video for me to make. Um, 
I don't know if I would be happy with Arya killing Cersei with Jamie's face because I mean, he's the Kingslayer. Like I I picture him being, "Hey Reuben, what's up?" I picture him being the Queen Slayer as well. And it was prophecy and like everyone's like, "Oh, it's going to be Tyrion. Tyrion's going to kill Cersei." And I'm just like, "No." It's got to be Jamie. The way that she's like dangled like this thread over him their entire lives. I don't know. It would make sense though if it were Arya wearing Jamie's face. Yeah, but does that mean Jamie has to be dead for her to wear a face? I don't know. Who would you be if you were in Game of Thrones? And will you be having a get together for the season premiere? Um, <laughs> I had to speed up reading that because it went away. Um, who would I be? Daenerys or Marjorie? Marjorie, she was so fun. I love Natalie Dormer though. That was like perfect casting. But I love the character Marjorie Tyrell. I loved her even more in the books. And I'm hoping George releases uh, the next book, books, because uh, I, I, I was such a big fan of Marjorie and I, I didn't like the way that she went out. I think there was just so much more she could have done. Um, but yeah, I think, I think obviously who wouldn't want to be Daenerys and ride dragons? That'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> Eddard Stark would be fast <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, there's a good question that I missed. So say it again if I haven't answered it. Mm. Someone asked if I, Jordan, what's up Jordan? I know it's late for you because you're over in the UK, right? Brand equals Night King, yes or no? Mm, yeah, I mean, gosh. All right, well, if we're gonna talk like serious theories, what, get ready to, I don't know, for me to say some stuff. But, um, oh, I have to pick one? Oh, no. Tim, I'm not answering that question. Jeez, that's just, that's like apples and oranges. Sort of. Well, they're both fruit. <laughs> Who would I date in Game of Thrones? Khal Drogo, duh. Um, which actor would you replace as one of the characters? I don't know, I feel like everyone's pretty well cast, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think there's anyone that I would want to recast. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tim, that was an evil question, uh, in a fun way. Um, shoot, what was I saying? Oh, we were talking about theories. Okay, one of my theories, it's a crazy one, so I don't actually think it's going to come true. And keep in mind, I don't know if you guys are keeping up with the articles and um, the interviews that have been coming out with the showrunners and the creators of, of the show, um, but they said that they want people to love this season. They know that the fans are very critical of the show and there's a lot that the fans want from the show. And they said that this is a season where they really do care if the audience likes it or not and they want us to love it. So in my mind, if your showrunner is saying like, we want you guys to love this ending, I... I, I think that they're gonna attempt to give us the happiest ending possible. I'm not gonna lie, like you think of Game of Thrones, you think of like, there's no happy endings, but honestly, all the people that died off in, were, uh, were killed off in the books. I honestly, like, is there a big shocker in the show that, um, that obviously the books, we're only so far in the books, but th was there anything that really shocked you like in the last two seasons, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. So it's my opinion that they're gonna try to give us a happy ending, um, which leads me to assume that, um, that Danny and John will probably end up, you know, ruling over Westeros and, and sitting on the Iron Throne in the end. But I don't know, I kind of have this thought that Daenerys is gonna die sorry, and that John will end up, you know, winning, I guess, winning this great war. And he will, uh, since he is so full of honor, I think he'll go back to, I don't know, because like, I guess, do they need anyone to protect? They don't need watchers on the wall if, if 
you know, they defeat the Night King and his army, but I, I think John would not accept the role of king. Even though he'd be a really great king, I think he would probably step down and let Sansa lead. Uh, because I think, I don't know, for me as a fan, I just think like Sansa being the one on the Iron Throne in the end really makes sense because she was the one in the beginning that was like, I'm going to be queen. I'm going to marry Joffrey and I'm going to be the queen. And she started off as like a little brat that you were like, please, you are, you are too much. And then she kind of had to go through like a ton of stuff um, to get to where she is now. And honestly, last season I was a little unsure with like where her head was at. Cause I, I could see her going two ways. I could see her becoming this really amazing queen, especially if she goes like, if she has Daenerys as like a leader, um, there is no wall anymore. That's true. There is no wall anymore. Um, I just meant like, would Jon Snow go back to, you know, to, cause he took the black, like that's part of his like oath and his pride and stuff. And he, he, you know, but he already broke that many times. Um, but if Sansa could have Daenerys as a, like someone to look up to, like a mentor, I think she could learn so much because she always wanted that in Cersei and Cersei never gave that to her. Cersei was always so mean to her. Um, and Marjorie was actually the one that kind of stepped up to show Sansa, um, like to be kind and to, to be smart. So I don't know. I think Sansa could go one of two ways. I think she could either become a Cersei real fast or she could be a really great leader. And I think, I don't know. I think that that would be good. A lot of people want to see Sansa and Tyrion together, which is interesting uh, because, you know, they got married and that could, uh, do they have any Game of Thrones cider? They, oh, hey, Andre. <laughs> um, they have, uh, not that you would like Andre. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, Cause I know the types of cider you like. They do have like a sour beer, but I don't, I don't think you'd like that. You're welcome to come over. Come on over. I got plenty for you to try here. I got so many different kinds. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my thought. Obviously like I want Daenerys to live. I, I just, who's going to be the one to tell John he's a Targaryen? Uh, how much do I plan on drinking? Not much. Uh, so, I, like, is it going to be Bran? Because Bran knows. Yes, I do too. I want to see a Hound Sansa Arya reunion. I think that would be awesome. Especially because Sansa kind of has a little bit of, like, a, a good relationship. It would be funny if Andre got there real quick. It would be funny if he did. Um... And I'm wearing the shirt you gave me, Andre. Yay, thank you. Thanks for my Dragonstone shirt. Yes. <laughs> um, so it has to be Bran, right? Uh, what am I going to do after Game of Thrones ends? Cry myself to sleep every night? Who do I like better, Jon Snow or Cersei? Mm, I like Cersei. Who would I give a spinoff series to? Oh, ooh, 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 good question. I mean, like, I love, <laughs> I know what you like. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, I would give maybe a spinoff series to, gosh, I don't know. That's a really good question. Like, who thinks like Masande and Grey Worm are going to survive this? Because like, they're not, right? Like, I can't be, I can't be so hopeful about everybody. Well, my hair looks darker than normal. I think it's just the light. It's just the light. Cause it's not, it's the same. If you go on Instagram, the photo I just posted yesterday, actually I don't even remember. Anyway, yeah. I think it's just this light makes my hair look darker. Um, but yeah, if Masande and Grey Worm can survive, that would be cool. Do you think you will cry more after Avengers Endgame or after Got ends? Game of Thrones. I'm not gonna cry at Endgame, come on. We all know what's gonna happen at the end of Endgame. There's only one thing that's gonna happen. Uh, it's not gonna be me crying. 
Uh, but Game of Thrones, I'm gonna cry during all the episodes. You guys are, yeah, Grey Worm will probably die in battle. Probably, I don't want him to. But, um, the prequel's gonna be 10,000 years before God. Yes, yes, I know that. Which, there won't be any dragons in the prequel, which will be interesting. <laughs> Masande and Grey Worm will, will not survive. That's what I think. I don't think, I don't think they'll survive. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm gonna be crying through every single episode of Game of Thrones. So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button right now because I, <laughs> can we get a crying montage in your series? Probably, probably. It takes a lot to get me to cry, but I might cry. Um, I, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, subscribe to me because I post recaps and reviews after every episode uh, and I'm gonna be doing that for this season. So you can watch my, my recaps, which are on my channel. They are in a playlist called Game of Thrones Recaps and Reviews. So you can watch them if you want to. I also have some, some theory videos and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing recaps and reviews. Actually, ooh, should I tell you? Should I tell you or should I not tell you? Hmm. I'm doing, yeah, there are no dragons in the prequels. That's what I hear. That is what I hear. So I'm doing something really cool. <laughs> That's bait. <laughs> Here's the bait, who wants it? Um, I'm doing something really cool tomorrow. Oh my gosh, is tomorrow Friday? Do it before I leave. <laughs> I forget how long I've been subs subscribed to you. Thanks, Kate. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm doing something tomorrow and I'm excited. That's all I really want to tell you. It's Game of Thrones related though. And uh, I'm excited and I will be making a video and it'll be coming out soon, probably this weekend. I'll probably post it this weekend, because why not? Do I have Game of Thrones pillows ready for those tears? I do. I have Game of Thrones everything. Seriously, everything. Yeah. In fact, I, uh, I'll i probably be posting some like Game of Thrones related videos um, in between the episode recaps. What am I looking forward to the most? I don't know. I don't want it to end, so I can't say that I'm like looking forward to it starting because I know six weeks is just gonna go by so fast. It sucks. It really sucks. Ugh, I don't want it to end. Um, <laughs> will you and Andre be going to VidCon this year? I don't know if Andre is going to VidCon. I'm not going to VidCon. Missed your thoughts on the beer. What did you think? Yes. The beer is actually really, really good. If you have tried any of the Game of Thrones beer, you know that um, the first one, Iron Throne, was, you know, I don't, I don't want to call it like simple because it was very like complex, uh, but it was kind of like a nice, smooth Belgian style ale. And that's exactly what this one is. Um, it kind of feels like Iron Throne, but like elevated a little bit. Um, and this might sound really weird, but all of the Game of Thrones beers, <laughs> beers just taste like the brewery. Um, because Amagang Brewery, I feel like their beer just has like a, a distinct taste. And I feel like out of the lineup, I could like pick which one was an Amagang beer. And that's why I love Game of Thrones because I'll go out to dinner or whatever. And if I see an Amagang beer on the, on the menu, I'm just like, ah, oh, do I want to be reminded of Game of Thrones? Yes. And I'll order it. So it's really good. It's a Belgian style ale for the throne. And uh, if you find it in stores, uh, send me a picture and uh, make sure you tag Ama Gang and Game of Thrones and use the hashtag for the throne and tag me, of course. Uh, and then I'll share them. Cause this beer is really good. Not gonna lie, I really do. I said it like from the moment I took the first sip, I was like, ooh, this one might be my favorite. Wouldn't that be cool though? I would love to do a, uh... wait, what? 
My friends and I are gonna watch Game of Thrones while eating chicken and hope the hound doesn't die. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, so I think it'd be really, really cool to get every single Game of Thrones beer from Ama Gang that they've made and do a taste test of them all. Cause I've tried them all, but I don't own them all at the moment. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine, but I think I'm missing like four, four or five. I like Amber L Ales and IPAs. Then you would love a lot of these beers. This one, this honestly, this, this one here, the For the Throne. Hey, what's up, Jack? This For the Throne is honestly, um, like if you don't love beer, you're one of those people that are like, I love, I'm trying to think of like a normal, like a standard, like a blue moon or a shop top. If that's the kind of beer you like, I would highly recommend this one. It's a little bit lighter in that way. Um, it's got way more flavor and, and is way better than a shock top or a blue moon. Shh, don't tell them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this one honestly is like really good if you don't really like those like heavy IPAs and stuff. But if you do, if you love IPA, well honestly there are so many to choose from. Uh, this one's actually the sour ale that I was talking about before. Um, and Seven Kingdoms is really good. This is a hoppy wheat. So this one's really good. It's just got like extra, um, extra, I guess, hoppiness to it. Um, and then the Valor Morgulis is like super, I don't even know how to describe beer. <laughs> do I have Game of Thrones on DVD? Of course I do. Who do you think I am? <laughs> um, and then the Take the Black was like a stout. That one is super heavy. So if you're into like stouts, that one's really good. Um, the Bend the Knee is a golden ale with honey, and you can really taste the honey in it. Um, so yeah, they, they honestly have like so many different kinds. You can't find a lot of these anywhere anymore, um, but what you can find is the newest one, which is the uh, For the Throne. And honestly, I think this one might be, ugh, I loved Fire and Blood though. Mm. You hate stouts and you're Irish. I'm not the biggest fan of stouts, and I too am Irish. Should I read the books first? Ooh, I mean, I did, but I don't think you have to. The books are way more detailed. Um, I don't know, that one's kind of up to you. Uh, you, I, I, would, I would maybe watch the show because who knows if George is ever gonna finish the books. Come on, George. <laughs> Seriously, this one is like super drinkable. And it's not too hoppy. I really like it. So what else? What are your guys' theories on, on this final season? Besides Katie crying her eyes out. Am I looking forward to Endgame? Are we talking about Avengers? Why are we still talking about Avengers? <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to Endgame. But you guys, go see Shazam first. Can I just tell you? Shazam was so good. And if you didn't see my review, go watch my review. It's on my channel. If you're not subscribed to me, subscribe. Ooh, if I could make my own Game of Thrones beer, what would it be? I feel like I would probably want to make like a blonde ale. I think that'd be awesome. Aw, thanks, Cam. Sansa will die and Jamie kills Cersei. Okay, that's a theory. Do I think George is going to wrap up the books now that the show has gone a completely different direction? I don't know. I feel like he'll never finish the books, but if he does, um, I think it'll be a completely different ending just to not be the same as the show. That's what I think. Yay, you guys have your Shazam tickets. I need to get tickets so I can go see it again. We have weather that is not sunny all the time. We have rain. All right. Well, I've been to Northern Ireland and Scotland, so I kind of understand how, oh, bye Kevin, have a good one. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've been, I've been there. So I know kind of how the UK weather works. I don't think Sansa's going to die. I just don't, I don't think, mm, I just don't see any more Starks dying. Hey, what's up Leroy from England? What's up? Ah, <sighs> no, I have not started the OA. Shazam, wait, how is Andre here and you, and you were the same person? 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was a good callback, by the way. What film locations would you like to visit? Okay, so years and years ago, I got to go to Northern Ireland to the set of Game of Thrones. This was back when I first started YouTube, honestly. And we weren't allowed to video anything inside uh, on the sets. This was honestly, must have been right after season three. I'm pretty sure I walked like right where the Red Wedding was. Um, and that was season three. So anyway, I, I got to go, but we didn't get to film anything. Everything was so private. We only got to take pictures and video the outdoor locations. So I got to go to the cool, um, the King's Road with all the vines, like, or not vines, the trees all looking awesome and stuff. Um, I have that video somewhere. And I also got to go to like a little party and I got to actually Maisie Williams and Isaac Hempstead Wright are in my video. So I remember you getting to go to Ireland. Yeah, it was a long time ago. What, like seven years ago? Anyway, I wanna go back. I wanna go back. I wanna see the new tour that they have set up, uh, which is opening next year, 2020. Um, and uh, I just, I, I really wanna go back, especially if they'll let like me make a vlog while I'm there because that's all I wanna do. I wanna go there. I wanna make a video there. Do I think Sansa's gonna kill anyone? If she has to. I don't think she's above it. I think she would do it if she had to. Sansa's been through everything, so. You know who I'm not sure about? The Greyjoys. Like, they're like that, like, little party out here. Like, you have, um, you have, like, just, you know, you got, like, uh, their uncle working with Cersei, and then you got, like, Theon, and I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with the Greyjoys. I don't even care, to be honest. I like Asha, though. Mm. But they renamed her, right? <laughs> really? Would you be that freaked out if Sansa killed someone? I don't think I would be that freaked out. I just don't think she needs to because she has Arya. Speaking of Arya, have you guys seen these trailers? Like, what is she running from? What would scare Arya enough to run from something? Unless it's like a the Night King himself or, ooh, someone actually had a good thought. I, um, someone said that Arya witnessed one of her family members coming back as a, as a White Walker and she wouldn't want to have to kill them. So yeah, I think Arya's gonna be like Sansa's assassin and do her dirty work. Honestly, but like, Arya already has her own hit list. So I'm curious to see if the Hound will be removed from her list. Um, wasn't Brienne also on her list at some point? Um, they're just saying something about Hodor coming back. No, leave him alone! It'd be awesome if Hodor came back and he didn't die. We didn't necessarily see him dead, right? I love Hodor. That'd be awesome. That would be a big mood if Arya had to see one of her siblings as a White Walker. Yeah, that's kind of like what I was thinking. Like, but who would it be? Like, I'm pretty sure that the Night King has to turn you into a, a White Walker pretty soon after you're dead. But I'm not sure. I don't, I don't officially have the lore. Uh, in front of me or understand uh, exactly how it works. But I don't think, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't think Ned Stark would be able to just come back um, because he's been dead for so long. So I don't really know. Do I have a double jointed thumb? No, do I? What's wrong with my thumbs? Don't you judge my thumbs. You have a double jointed thumb. <laughs> Hodor versus Groot, I wanna see that movie. Have you seen, are, are you referring to the Warp Zone uh, rap battle we did? Hodor versus Groot? Because that was fun. Uh, make a Game of Thrones theory bingo card. Ooh. Ooh, I should. That would be fun. 
We should all make Game of Thrones theory bingo cards. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's so funny how the comments work on this live video because half the time they fly up like so fast and then half the time they're like not there. What am I drink drinking? All right, so if you missed earlier in the video, I am drinking the latest Game of Thrones beer for the throne. You can find it uh, anywhere Game of Thrones beer is sold, which is like BevMo, Total Wine. Um, and uh, it's delicious, it's really good. If you tried any of the Game of Thrones beers, um, I think it's the most similar to Iron Throne, which was like the first beer that they released. Someone asked if I'm doing any uh, videos with the Warp Zone. Maybe. There may be things and stuff and dragons and things. No spoilers, <laughs> but it's possible. You might see me. <laughs> this is one of those moments where they're like, all of the comments are either flying by or there's none. Who has never tried Game of Thrones beer? That's what I wanna know. Like never ever tried it. And why? Why haven't you tried it? It's so good. <laughs> and also if you missed my shirt, this is my new shirt. Yeah, Dragonstone. Andre got me this shirt, yes. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I, uh, if you guys are out and you see this For the Throne, Game of Thrones beer, you definitely wanna check it out if you're of age to drink beer. Um, this one's really nice and refreshing. Um, some of them can be a little heavier and this one's really light and refreshing and I really like it. So um, if you find it, take a picture of it, tag me, put it on Instagram or Twitter. Make sure you tag Amagang Brewery they're the guys that make it. If you forget, they're on the bottle. <laughs> but who hasn't tried it? Who has tried it? Where did all the comments go? <laughs> did we freeze? What's happening? Someone typed something, so I know that I, I'm not frozen in space somewhere. Did Thanos get to all of you? At least I have my Game of Thrones beer. I really do think that we froze. What's going on? Well, if we froze or didn't freeze, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to keep talking. We've almost been doing this for an hour. Crazy. But I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and commenting and chatting and theorizing with me about Game of Thrones. It's always super fun. And uh, I'm really excited for this season, but also super nervous for this season. And just, I'm gonna be making a lot of recaps and reviews, of course, for the episodes, as well as other Game of Thrones related content like this. Uh, and showcasing the, the newest beer, which is really exciting for me. Uh, Cause I've been, I've been collecting the Game of Thrones beer since the moment they first put it out. In fact, funny story, I actually uh, called BevMo once and said, oh, okay, low, low battery, whoa. Uh, sorry for the glitch there. I actually called BevMo once and was like, I need you to order me an entire case of the Game of Thrones beer. And they were like, an entire case, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. I've done that more than once. Just saying. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you find this beer out in the wild, take a photo. Tag me, tag Amma Gang, tag Game of Thrones. Hashtag for the throne. It's really good. And I love getting to chat with you guys about theories and about Game of Thrones. And like I said, if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe. Do it now. Do it right now. Because <laughs> I've been posting a bunch of videos this week and... More to come. Like I said, I'm doing something really exciting and Game of Thrones related this tomorrow. Tomorrow. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys that. 
and yeah, subscribe and share this video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I think we froze a long time ago, but if we didn't, great. Bye guys.